a long time since we haven't been posting videos. But let's come back with a bang! Today we're going to be learning about man mental math. But what really is mental math? People think it's too boring, blah blah blah, whatever. But they don't, but do you actually know the secret in mental math? Don't you? Don't you ever wonder if you could have faster calculations, be better in perform, performing in tests, or just be the best in the class? Well, this, today I'll be teaching you tricks that will be helping you in the coming weeks, weeks and this video to help you to improve your math skills when it comes to mental math. First, let me ask you, why do you think mental math is so important? Some people think it's boring. Yeah. But I researched this topic and found ten reasons why every kid should be good at this, should be good at mental math. Isn't that incredible? Like I, I don't understand. The reasons are mental math enhances problem solving speed, so you can go boom like that without even thinking about it. Improves brain functioning, so it's more easier to be like solving it and having more just relaxing. It's going through its processing. It boosts up your self-confidence. You, sometimes you might be the person being the shy person. Well, this just can just boost it up, boost your confidence to make to make you make you not shy anymore. It helps you in your real life applications. Sometimes you might need it for other things. Sometimes not. But mental math is always there to help you. In the fifth reason is it improves your focus and attention to the teacher while also working on your work. It strengthens it strength your foundation for advanced math. So maybe you have like multiplication or something. It's, and you have a hard, hard question. You need to memorize those multiplication facts tables to be able to solve something. It also encourages your flexibility in thinking. So being able to solve really long equations by just breaking it down and taking it step by step. And it saves you more time. It enhances mathematical institution, which means that that you can you can you can you can have the power you can have the power to do super hard questions without even do, without even trying. While other people are struggling, you're just going at the speed of light. And it, and lastly, it helps you prepare for everyday challenges. Sometimes you might have like. You're like so tired and uh, uh, you're so sluggish. That's like you feel out of order. But that that mental math can also be help you be mental by being stronger. By your maybe maybe the example I gave being stronger when you're like getting up from bed, you're starting to get ready but instead of being sluggish. This means that math mental math is not only crucial but it's a Academic success! It will help you anytime! Real, it has real world application. It strengthens the brain. Boosts your confidence. Saves time. No long. So long. It's going to take me forever. It can save you time! And it makes you so reliant in everyday tasks. So it means that you can rely on yourself. You don't have to be taken. Um, you don't need to be getting help most of the time. And that helps you get better grades. Especially in math when it comes to mental math. This means mental math will, is really is really crucial for your health for your health being. It can also help you in the health situations. And for today, I'll be sharing some some little small tricks but are so effective in this and this will be for addition to help you calculate faster and improve your overall math skills. One of the ways when it comes to making addition easier is just breaking the numbers apart. It makes addition so easy, so fast, and it's never complicated. The steps are super easy. Let me give you an example. So we have, for example, we have 56 plus 47. I know we could just go, boom, you get, you stack it up, you add it up. But have you ever wished there's an easier way to do it? But you've come to the right place. When we're breaking down numbers, we have steps to do it. So we have, we're gonna, we have the number 56. What are we going to do with that? So we have 56. We have 
50 and we have 6. We have, no, we have 5 and we have 6. 5 is in the 10th place and 6 is in the 1's place. You might think that you just put five, uh, put five over there, act like the ten, act like it's in the tens place, and then put a six. But that's wrong. You have to put because since five is in the tens place, it that yeah, it means it's gonna be ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, or seventy, eighty, or ninety. So you have five. So that makes it fifty. But we have six. What are we do with the six? The six is in the ones place. So you might you might consider that it's just six. If you consider that, that is correct. So that now we have that we have that broken down. But we now we have forty seven. We have we have four in the tens place. So we should all know it's forty. After we have seven, it's in the ones place. So now we have we put seven over here. So that's where we have the breaking down. Now to add it. 56 plus 47 is just the same thing as doing 50 plus 40, which is 90, plus 6 plus 7 equals 13. And now we can look. This should be pretty easy to do. 90 plus 13 is 103. Let's put that down. Oh, sorry. This is an example showing how easy it, how easy it is to just break numbers apart and make make this question look so easy, even though it might be hard for some people. That is the power of mental math. Let's do another let's do another problem or another example. Let's say we have we should do maybe now let's do seventy three plus fifty six. We want to know how to, how to get this answer without stacking the, stacking the numbers and adding it. We can do, so we have 73, we can do, you know, 70 in the tens place, so it becomes 70. And we have 3 in the ones place, so it's 3. We have 56, 5 is in the tens place, 50, and 6 is in the one place, so it's 6. Now we have the we now have to do seventy three plus fifty six is the same thing as right over here. Same thing, it's equal to it. We just do seventy plus fifty equals one hundred and twenty, and we do three plus six equals to nine. We should all should know the answer. One hundred and twenty plus nine equals one hundred twenty nine. That is correct. That are the steps for breaking down the, this is the formula just to break down the numbers. It's that easy. There's no complications. You don't have to go through any stress. And when you're given a test, you might just ace the test. Let's do another, let's do another example, problem. We have, let's say we do now, uh, we have 60 plus 47. What should we do? Obviously, we're first going to write down the equation. We need to know the equation. So we do 68 plus 47. Now, what do we do? Let's think. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh, we I know. We should start with 68 and break down the number. So we do 6. 6 in the tens place. We all know it's 60. And then we have 8 in the ones place. So that's eight, just eight, only eight. All right, we have 47 now. We do four in the tens place, so it becomes 40. And we have seven in the ones place, so it's seven. That's simple. Now we have 68 plus 47, same thing over here, equivalent. We have 60 plus 40 equals 100. We, then we add that to 8 plus 7 equals 15. So we should know this one. Not as hard. 100 plus 15 equals 100. 100 plus 15 is 115. That's the answer. Okay. So that's how we broke down our number. It's pretty simple. It's easy. It's not as hard. Everything's good. Let's 
do have more problem. Let's say a bookstore sold 128 books on Monday, that first day. But the next day, they sold 276 books. Using mental math, what is a total number in two days? How do we how do we do that? We don't know. Well, mental math has come to save the day. We have what the two numbers it said are 128 and 276. So let's start with that. Since we have 128 plus 276, it's going to be a little harder because these numbers are now a three-digit number. But even though they're three-digit numbers, mental math has no worries because it has the power to crush any digit. Four digits, five digits, even eight digits. How do we get to that? Mm -hmm. So we have 128. We have to break down the number first. So now we have another digit in the hundreds place. So we might be thinking, oh, one is just 10, but that's actually wrong. One in the 100th place is 100. We add that. We already know that two will become 20, which is in the 10th place. And then we do eight, which is in the ones place, so that becomes eight. Now we have, <laughs> yes, right, we have 276. So we have two, this is in the hundreds place, which is 200. We do, we have seven, which is in the tens place, it's 70. And we have six, which is in the ones place, so that'll be, become six. Now, it's the same thing, we'll just add them up. We'll do 100 plus 200 equals 300. That'll be plus 220 plus 70 equals 90. And then we have to add 14 because we, we do know that 8 plus 6 goes over the limit of 10. So we have to regroup and we need it 14. Right. So what should we start with? We should start with 300 plus 90. We see. So we're going to do 300 plus 90 which we all know should be simple because we should know that you just do, if you stack it up, you do. 9 plus 0 is always 9 or the number that's been added to 0. So we have 300, and 300 plus 90 equals 390. Yes. Okay. Now, but we still have 14. What do we do with 14? We add, we might think that we just keep the answer like that. But that's actually wrong. We have to first, we still have to add 14. So we do 390 plus 14. We should add that up. So we do 0 plus 4 equals 4. We have 1 plus 9, which is over, is 10. And if we go to over the limit of 9, we have to regroup. So we do 1 plus 9. 1 plus 9 equals 10. Put this here over here. I'll regroup it. Now, since there is no number, since the 14 is only a two-digit number and 390 is a three-digit number, unfortunately, there is no more numbers for three to be added. But we all know that anytime there, that, that happens, there is three, three plus nothing always equals three. But wait, we're missing something, right? You notice something. Yes, we have the one. And since we regroup that to a hundred to what and since that regroup regroupation is one hundred, we have to add one hundred to three hundred, which makes it four hundred now instead of three hundred. So our answer, therefore, therefore our answer, let me go to this side. Therefore our answer is four. 400 books sold, books sold in two days. Take some time to process that. Maybe try to rewind that again. Okay, you got it?
Okay, we pause it. Now we're gonna do just erase it. So thank you for watching this video. We will be posting some homework sheets on on this video. But if you want to follow up and learn no math really well to just defeat your whole class, be the best, pass exams, maybe get get all A's and all easy, get all A's in your grade for math, get all A's in get all A's in math. Get four, get four plus, four minus. Please subscribe and click that notification icon so you can be notified when I post my next video. As always, thank you. Au revoir. Goodbye. Thank you.